Hello and welcome to our new video presentation on carbon nanotubes. Overview and definition of carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are allotrope of carbon. Carbon nanotubes are large molecules of pure carbon that are long and thin and shaped like tubes, about 1-3 nanometers in diameter, and hundreds to thousands of nanometers long. They can be bent, and when released, they will spring back to their original shape. As individual molecules, nanotubes are 100 times stronger than steel and 1 sixth its weight. They take the form of cylindrical carbon molecules and have novel properties that make them potentially useful in a wide variety of applications in nanotechnology, electronics, optics and other fields of material science. Uses of the Carbon Nanotubes Infection Therapy The resistance of infectious agents against numerous antiviral, antibacterial drugs or due to certain vaccine inefficacy in the body, carbon nanotubes have been assayed to resolve these problems. Functionalized carbon nanotubes have been demonstrated to be able to act as carriers for antimicrobial agents such as the antifungal amphotericin B. Gene therapy by DNA delivery. Gene therapy is an approach to correct a defective gene which is the cause of some chronic or hereditary diseases by introducing DNA molecule into the cell nucleus. Some delivery systems for DNA transfer include liposomes, cationic lipids and nanoparticles such as carbon nanotubes recently discovered. Cancer therapy. It is used for cancer therapy in three ways. By drug delivery. By anti-tumor immunotherapy by local anti-tumor hypothermiotherapy. Cleaning polluted water. Scientists found that by using filters made of carbon nanotubes, pollutants could be removed more effectively from contaminated water as compared to common charcoal filters. Carbon nanotubes have a very large surface area that gives them a high capacity to retain pollutants such as water-soluble drugs. Types of carbon nanotube There are two types of carbon nanotube. Single-walled nanotubes. Multi-walled nanotubes. Single-walled nanotubes. Single-walled carbon nanotubes are hollow, long cylinders with extremely large aspect ratios, made of one atomic sheet of carbon atoms in a honeycomb lattice. They possess extraordinary thermal, mechanical, and electrical properties and are considered as one of the most promising nanomaterials for applications and basic research. Most single-walled nanotubes have a diameter close to one nanometer, with a tube length that can be many millions of times longer. The structure of a single-walled nanotubes can be conceptualized by wrapping a one-atom-thick layer of graphite called graphene into a seamless cylinder. Applications of single-walled carbon nanotube Biomedical Before use of single-walled carbon nanotube in biological and biomedical environments, there are three barriers which must be overcome, fictionalization, pharmacology, and toxicity. Field emission. A bulk bundle of single-walled nanotubes, which were obtained after a purification process of carbon soot containing single-walled nanotubes, was used as an electron emitter. Many spikes of micro-bundles of single-walled nanotubes extruded from the surface of the bulk emitter. Field emission originating from individual micro-bundles was observed on a fluorescent screen 50 mm apart from the tip.
fuel cells. Application single walled carbon nanotubes in a variety of fuel cell components. They have a number of properties, including high surface area and thermal conductivity, which make them useful as electrode catalyst supports in pump fuel cells. They may also be used in gas diffusion layers, as well as current collectors, because of their high electrical conductivity. Energy Storage Single-walled carbon nanotubes are being considered for energy production and storage. Graphite, carbonaceous materials and carbon fiber electrodes have been used for decades in fuel cells, battery and several other electrochemical applications. Nanotubes are special because they have small dimensions, a smooth surface topology, and perfect surface specificity, since only the basal graphite planes are exposed in their structure. That's all for the topic of single-walled nanotubes. Now we will be moving on to the next topic, which is multi-walled nanotubes. Multi-walled nanotubes. Multi-walled carbon nanotubes are a special form of carbon nanotubes in which multiple single-walled carbon nanotubes are nested inside one another. Multi-walled nanotubes consist of multiple rolled layers of graphite. They are elongated cylindrical nano-objects made of sp-square carbon. Their diameter is 3 to 30 nanometers and they can grow several centimeters long, thus their aspect ratio can vary between 10 and 10 million. There are two models which can be used to describe the structures of multi-walled nanotubes. Strength. This bond is even stronger than the sp cubed bond found in diamond. Under high pressure, individual nanotubes can bond together, trading some sp squared bonds for sp cubed bonds. This gives the possibility of producing long nanotube wires. Carbon nanotubes are not only strong, they are also elastic. The tip of a nanotube and cause it to bend without damaging to the nanotube, and the nanotube will return to its original shape when the force is removed. Electrical The structure of a multi-walled carbon nanotube determines conductive the nanotube. The structure of atoms in a multi-walled carbon nanotube minimizes the collisions between conduction. Electrons and atoms, a carbon nanotube is highly conductive. The strong bonds between carbon atoms also allow carbon nanotubes to withstand higher electric currents than copper. Thermal the strength of the atomic bonds in multi-wall carbon nanotubes allows them to withstand high temperatures. Because of this, multi-walled carbon nanotubes have been shown to be very good thermal conductors. Compared to copper wires, which are commonly used as thermal conductors, the multi-walled carbon nanotubes can transmit over 15 times the number of watts per meter per Kelvin. Solar Cells Solar cells consisting of 100 micrometer high towers built of multi-walled nanotubes grown on iron-coated silicon wafers. There are 40,000 of these towers in each square centimeter of the surface. Each tower is an array of millions of vertically aligned multi-walled nanotubes. These cells absorb more light as it reflects off the sides of the towers. Unlike typical solar cells that have peak efficiency when the sun is at 90 superscripto, these cells have two peaks at 45 degrees and operate with relatively high efficiency during most of the day. That's all for the topic of multi-walled nanotubes.
There are some companies which are the best examples of carbon nanotubes. Carbon Nanotubes Plus CVD Materials Glonar Tech Nano Armor Sky Spring Nano Materials Unidime Red X Thank you for watching this video presentation. Please continue to watch our other presentations to learn about technology industry. To follow us on social media, click on the link given in the description. If you like our video presentation and want more presentation on such IT topics, so don't forget to like, share and comment on our video. If you want firstly update of our new video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.